Christ. Moist Watkins. <laughs> oh, I no. want to start the show out this week by showing yet another. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. I've never. Are you form of disrespect. Finish him. <laughs> this is a wedding day photo, I believe. And it is quite shameful, Mr. Watkins. <laughs> Your problems That's mount. Terrible. Have you ever seen this picture, D? No, I have not. What about Honest you, Mark? Honest to God. Honest to God. No. This one worse than the last one. Yeah. Before Corey gets started here, just to let you guys know, this is a continuation in the ongoing saga between Dr. Boyce Watkins and Corey Holcombs. This is going on right now because as recording this video, just last Friday, he had a two hour live stream responding back to Corey Holcomb here. And the whole idea is that everybody thought that Boyce Watkins would stop here, but he continued on here. So now we're seeing Corey's rebuttal here. So let's continue here what Corey's gonna say now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the man's wedding day. Who's the guy, who's the fella? Okay, boys is the one looking goofy. I can't see it's cut off. From and my brother Willie D. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah. Oh, look at is that. Is the face. one she looking like? Why couldn't it be you? <laughs> That's terrible. If I'm sorry. This, I don't mean to be loud. Was, if you was a random person, and you look at this picture, you would think. Willie D will be the one married. Now he's the boy walking it down. Willie house. D looking at it like, no, bitch, go up there and get married to this man. <laughs> you gotta play it off. Hey, do you see Boys Walker's face? Yeah, it looks super simp face as. This is ridiculous, dog. He looked like the daddy walking her down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we want to keep saying, but we got two. I got too many. Body language photos just like this. You giving him the benefit of the doubt. On your wedding day, you gonna be looking at another man like that, D? That means yes, you you get down like she get down. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. I want to talk to Mr. Watkins and let him know that even though you made a mistake and a match at a flamethrower with Corey Holcomb. I'm not mad at you. But somebody has to explain this shit right here. All right? Look at how boys, you see how Willie do Willie D suit fit them? That's how yours supposed to fit on your wedding day. <laughs> you look off the rack like a motherfucker. <laughs> You and Marcus got the most fucked up suits. Oh, you motherfucker. If Marcus is one of the 4th of July, Marcus will have on a suit that fit him just like that. No, you you see that shit, man. Fuck you, man. Get a tailor, man. man. Why you got... Oh, my. You got a jumpsuit in the fedora on right now, man. What are you talking about? I'm a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> You just be prepared for to get scrutinized, but who cares? If you don't care, do what you want. Huh. Back on this pity mission, I heard this week the brother said about his wife. Okay. Look at this picture of her. Do you know how many Italian men want my wife? <laughs> <laughs> That's when I really felt sorry for him. I was like, maybe he really don't get it. Like Why would you say? Do you know how many Italian men want my wife? For context here, on the live stream, we reacting to it on my channel here. Dr. Boyce Watkins was actually trying to make the caveat that Asian men and Latin men were coming after all the black women because the fact that black men ain't doing their jobs here. It, just because the fact that he was talking about one particular man who would probably want his wife here. So it was very, very split in hairs argument here. You guys got to check it out. So let's get back to Corey here now. That, that, that's that how, means he want his wife to get smashed by Italian. That's all I'm just going to say. He put that's the value. That's what he said. He put value in the Italian men. He said Italian and Asian men too, I think. That's, that's what he look up to. He want them to be like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't drunk. He, he wasn't, just don't know how to talk. Mr. Watkins, you should stop talking. Every time you talk, you, you lose more and more credibility, man. Like, it's a lot of people who perpetrate like they smart. But then when you listen to them talk, you'll be like, 
Oh, this is stupid, man. <laughs> Man, I ain't even mad at him no more, man. The man need help mentally. He is hurting. Hey, boys, I've been in relationships with women that didn't treat me worth a shit also. But you know what? I'm an OG now. I ain't finna motherfucking be stuck up in no fucked up shit. But you late in life, stepping into this. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, I actually feel bad for you. The man said everybody calling him a simp for the wrong reason, and I know he was doing it on purpose. I got a woman that adore me, that got my back, and I would get down on one knee in front of the world for her. If you didn't have gout? If, 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 yeah, if I didn't have gout, like Marcus said. But I'm saying like, getting on one knee for a woman that you love don't make you a simp. Getting on one knee for somebody who came back out the streets like Forrest Gump girl did. That's what's simpish about what you did. This is before he continues here, it was way out of context with Dr. Boyce Watkins when he was talking about how black men do not want to get married. He was saying over and over again that it was a good thing to get on one knee, but it was taken out of context here because the fact that he was trying to make the argument that black men don't want to get married here. It's not even that at all. It was the way that he was delivering his information, stating that we weren't trying to do anything and that these other cultures were going to take our women here. It was very asinine and it was a bad conversation here. So let's continue. Let Corey Cook more. This is this is the problem. Miss Watkins, we need you to come out publicly and say you love your husband because he has lost too much credibility with these photos. I ain't even showed all the shit people sent to me. These photos are too compromising. Miss Miss Watkins, will you please let the world know that you love your husband so I could stop messing with him? Cause it looked like you making a fool out of him. Yeah, man, you that's the only way he gonna recover, man. Getting you, married ain't nothing no more. That's, that's nothing. That's the only way you gonna recover, man. And you gotta get your wife to come on the internet and express her love for you. So we can see how much of a good good of an actor she is. Get out of it, boys. Get out of it. I heard you admit on air. Yeah, we talked about what Corey said. That's right, you talked about what I said. You think I'm just a comedian? That's a great picture man. right there, though. Oh. I'm. I, what does it say? It had descriptions. Who did that? Oh my look, gosh. What did it say? Oh no. Look who she. Look who she closer to. Wait, is Willie D on? I didn't notice. Bro, wait, wait, wait. wait. Is Willie D waist. arm on the bottom of her it's back? her waist. Hey, dog. No. I see his fingers. No, no. <laughs> Why is she close to the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's going to push him off. <laughs> oh, this is a cold game right now. I didn't see that. <laughs> oh. I told you. Boys, I'm praying for you, black man. I'm not here to destroy you. You destroying yourself Who still mentally me. That? Wait, they, they wait. lied about nothing. I can't see it Did with this say camera. No shoes? Yeah, what does that say at the bottom? This, yes. this country nigga out here, motherfucker, without no shoes, though. Oh my God, dog. Your oh, shoes hurt, didn't it? It definitely was at the end of the night then. He probably oh, let Willie Bars get his gal. They say feminine stance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it don't have they here. say big smile, relaxed smile. <laughs> <laughs> Made this, they were they were too. There's some look, they like got he, space between them, space. no space between her and Willie D. Yeah, he's like he twiddling his toe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. Watkins, please leave me alone. Don't stop explaining yourself, bro. You hurting your brand, you are destroying your brand going up against me. You are losing credibility, bro. Tell your wife to hug and kiss you in front of all us on the internet. Do it! Do it! That shit crazy, though. Miss Watkins, will you please hug and kiss your husband while he talking and stop looking at him like, I wish he hurry up and be through. Yeah, she look like she rushed you with everything. It's bad, And they've man. been together how she... long, though? Haven't they been together like uh Y'all two come on my show and let me counsel y'all about y'all relationship. Oh, oh, 
wow. Yeah. Fuck the little arguments we have. And I, I, when it first started, I had a little attitude, which now I'm worried about you, though. It's too late. They didn't got married. So. It don't matter. You could get out of it, boys. I know you ain't got shit for real. Just <laughs> let it go. That man, that, you don't even understand. That I ain't even, look good enough, I'm not bringing up all he said about me. I just oh, look I at all this shit know. that's on the internet and I'll be like, wow, is he serious? He telling people to clean up their kitchen and they, his kitchen is a mess. I can't believe Wait, he, he posted these pictures, dog. I don't know. I know he hate this picture out there. That oh is. Oh my do you, God. Are, are you looking at this woman? How's she looking at Willie B? Man, she looked at. She she got, I can see her eyes. She mesmerized. That is a, you talk willing to put that D on them. You talk so a, much shit about black men, Mr. Watkins, and your girl is in love with a ghetto boy. <laughs> oh my God, I feel bad for you. I think he gonna kill himself though. Oh, <laughs> it's my plan. I'm so worried about Mr. Watkins. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know I'm bringing out pain that you're going to try to be like, I could just see him talking to his wife. Well, well let me tell you what he said. I know you said you don't want to hear it, but let me just say what he said. <laughs> he tried to explain it. Right. <laughs> My mind playing tricks on me. Hey, man. Hey, Miss, hey, hey, Mr. Watkins. You know she had a family without you, and then once it was safe, when she knew you wasn't shooting swimmers no more, she was like, fuck it, I'll give oh, this motherfucker. Hey, use a retirement plan, Boy, Boys ain't got no kids. Oh, so that's oh, all her. Oh, what? He like you, Marcus. Oh, he ain't like me. No, he ain't no, nothing no, like no. me. Wait, wait. Never, wait. you would never Are see Are you saying like you better than boys? What? Y'all the same height with no kid. Nigga, we ain't the same age. You taller than him? Yeah, yeah, I'm taller. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm taller than him. <laughs> you ain't Willie B about to say, honey. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, I know Willie D. He taller than you, nigga. <laughs> No, he, he, ain't, he ain't got no kids, man. Like the lady in New Jack City. She can't have kids. He can't have kids. That nigga's a retirement chick. We don't know what that, I don't know what That's he, what he is, I'm telling you. That's what, what that, that's, whatever he that's is, what man. I'm, I'm saying, brother, leave me alone, man. I don't want to. I'm not even, I am really going, I heard all the underhanded things you said, like you was trying to talk with some professionalism, they but she he was. Go, he got a daughter. He was throwing, he was throwing shade at me. Oh, he got a daughter. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. I was wrong. See how I admit I'm wrong when mm -hmm. I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Mr. Watkins, my life is throwed. My life is in shambles, but I can live with it because I'm working to be better. How can you get better if somebody is with you that don't love you? That's too much of a knockout blow every morning. Seeing her leave the house, hoping she return uninserted you gotta put a face on, on. core about well, born with two of them he good i love you i know you love me too Wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's how he said it. she only said back i know you love me too she be like bye that's hilarious i know you love me too i'm going to do some secretarial work for willie d <laughs> oh, he even has grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> so he not like you. He better than you, Marcus. He got a child. That don't make that any better than me. It does. Everybody who got a kid is no. better than you. And he has They're grandchildren. Not. She had a kid too. Marcus, no. you don't have kids, man. That don't mean shit, man. I'm telling if you something wrong with you. Yet, if I decide to, you nothing out of your arm, dog. No. <laughs> oh my lord, I can't. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna leave Marcus alone. I love you, Marcus. It don't matter if you ain't got no kids, goddammit. Oh, really? He, that don't mean you're not a man because you can't make a baby, right? Leave him alone, huh? <laughs> on that note, they're about to go on to another discussion, but what do you guys think about this here? Because when I made another re uh, video about a week ago, I was hoping that Dr. Watkins wouldn't respond back, just sit back because comedians have things to come back on. But this two hour live stream 
was really a piece of work here. He was throwing so many stones and throwing much shade at black men, but there was no accountability for black women. He was trying to split hair saying that it's okay and it's great to be married, but he's not giving context on who is being married and how black men need to be accountable for things that's not in favor for them in our community. So it was so many things where that he was throwing items out there, trying to throw a lot of big words here. And when we broke it down, we were saying to ourselves, this doesn't sound right. He's over here thinking that he's talking to little kids when adults are listening. And he thinks he's the smartest man in the room. And that's the problem when someone thinks they're the smartest man in the room when actuality he's not. But hey, what do I got to say here? I'm just a YouTuber here. Comment, like, subscribe, and click on that bell notification below. What do you guys think about this here? Do you think that he's going to respond back on another live stream here? Or like Corey said, will he let it go? Until next time, I'm that dude named Dave. See y'all later, YouTube world.